So example two is the same as this converging lens. Example two. So it's a still converging lens. But the one change is that the object distance is now less than the focal length. You can kind of see that between these two examples, it covers all the possibilities with converging lens, right? Yeah, at least when you have real object. Okay, good. So let's uh, do that. Um, I have, let's see, hmm, how should I draw this? I think this is how I should draw it. So converging lens here. Of some focal length. Oops. Uh, let's say it's the same focal length. No reason to make it complicated. Um, but this time, the image will be somewhere inside the focal point. Let's uh, make it easy for myself or ourselves and say that the image is at distance, sorry, not image, object is at distance. Um, five centimeters away from the lens, half the focal length. Okay, so once again, the question is, where is the image? What is the, once again, the question is, what is the image distance? What is the eye? And what I would tell you, especially when you're starting out, is, um, you know, when you're starting out, you have no intuition, um, this lens equation is a good equation to always fall back on. It will always give you a result that is meaningful in some way. You may have to learn how to interpret it, but it will give you an answer that you can use. So that would be my first recommendation. Use this lens equation and see what you get. Um, now, I could go through all the algebra, but I feel like I already did that already, right? All the algebra I did here, none of that depended on what these values were, right? Yeah, so I can say, all right, uh, I'm just going to reuse this result. That's sort of one of the reasons to do things symbolically. <laughs> um, and I can say my image distance is equal to um, f the focal length times the object distance over the object distance minus focal length. That's equal to plug in the numbers, 10 times 5 over Five, mi oops, 5 minus 10 mm. centimeters. So I get 50 on the numerator and minus 5 on the denominator. So 50 over minus 5. Oh, I don't, don't think I made it far enough away. Mm. Ah, let, that's fine. It's equal to minus 10 centimeters. Now, um, what, whatever do you think this minus sign means? From the same size object. You are thinking of maybe the location will be different, right? So that, that's a good intuition. So before, when this image distance was positive, it was on this side. It maybe what's meant by the minus sign is it'll be on the other side. All right. Let's, uh, um, so here's how you can verify it. You can draw your ray diagrams. And if your ray diagrams uh, show on, uh, lines converging on this side, then um, I guess minus sign means something else. If the ray diagrams show the lines appearing to converge here, then, then that intuition was right. So let's uh, draw the ray diagram and see. I mean, uh, you know, I do rough enough numbers so that even doing it by hand, it should come out right. So my first principal ray coming in parallel goes through the focal point. Uh, straight enough. <laughs> so that's the first uh, principal ray. The second principal ray goes through the middle of the lens and it goes straight. Uh, all right. So on this side, you can see that they are kind of diverging. So you will never see them cross each other on this side. So that's looking good. That means 
that probably means if we extend this back, they will cross over here. So let's do that. Extend this back. And they cross. Yeah, I think I drew this focal point wrong. Whatever, my drawing is not very accurate. Um, so this is where the image forms. And this is the image distance, which, is, which we say is equal to minus 10 centimeters. So we keep this minus sign. Let's, say, let's see if the formulas we derived earlier are, uh, still work. So we derived this formula with example one, that the magnification is minus di over do. And when the magnification was negative, we wanted the image to be inverted. And when the magnification is positive, we want the image to be upright. We have an upright image here. So um, hopefully this comes out positive. You plug in the numbers. So minus, minus 10 centimeter over um, 5 centimeter, you get plus 2. I mean, here my drawing is once again not very accurate, but 2 seems reasonable within ballpark. So yeah, so the formula that we derived here, this formula works for greater range of situations than we might have imagined at the very beginning. Um, that's going to be a common theme with these formulas because with a proper sign convention, we can extend the usable range of these formulas to things that you didn't even imagine.